Hi everyone, welcome back. Today our recipe is egg biryani. Okay, let us see the ingredients here. I am going to use one bigger size red onion finely chopped, one medium size tomato chopped, and four shallots and one green chilli, and one tablespoon of crushed ginger and garlic, four green chillies. And these are all the masalas we are going to use for this biryani. This is going to be our homemade biryani masala for this biryani, egg biryani. I am going to use 1 teaspoon of black pepper and 1 mace and 3 cloves and pinch of nutmeg and 1 black cardamom and 3 green cardamom and small size cinnamon stick. See, it's very thinner only. I am going to use. Also, I am going to use 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Here I am going to use 1 4 teaspoon of fennel seeds powder. I didn't have a, a fennel seeds so I am going to use powder instead of you can use 1 4 teaspoon of whole fennel seeds also. Also I am going to use just handful of broken cashew nuts and a half a cup of yogurt, salt as per taste and bunch of finely chopped coriander leaves and mint leaves. For this biryani I am going to use 3 teaspoon of oil and 2 ta tablespoon of ghee clarified butter. For this biryani recipe I am going to use zira samba rice. You know this rice uh, it's very good for the biryani recipe. Instead of zira samba you can use basmati rice also. But here I didn't soak the rice. I just rinse it in the water. Just wash it 2-3 times. Just drain it. So here we are going to use 2 cups of rice. So for this biryani we are going to use 4 cups of water. These are all the ingredients and boiled egg. Okay, these are all the ingredients we are going to use. First of all, I am going to heat oil in the pan. Before that we will grind these masalas all together. As well as I am going to grind the shallots and green chili separately. Okay, grind it to make a fine powder. Let's wait. Heat oil and melt the ghee. Now I am going to add this chopped onion, red onion. I am making biryani. Try to add red onion. Sort it until this oil is a slightly brown color. Then we will add next ingredient. The slightly brown color. Now I'm going to add cashew nuts, broken cashew nuts. Then I'm going to add crushed ginger and garlic and green chili. Salt it for just few seconds. Then I'm going to add green chilies and crushed ginger and garlic. Try to add fresh ginger and garlic so you will get nice aroma other than store bath and salt it for just one minute then we will add chopped tomatoes here. Also our ground biryani masala and shallots and green chilli mixture is ready. Ok now I am going to add this chopped tomato. Also, I am going to add salt, salt it nicely until the tomato starts smash. Then we will add biryani masala and the shallot mixture. Now I am going to add the shallots and the green chili mixture. Mix it well. Also, I am going to add half of the chopped coriander leaves and mint leaves. The remaining I am going to add while we are going to put the rice into the rice cooker. Actually, today I am going to cook this biryani into the rice cooker. And mix it everything together, sort it. Also, I am adding half a cup of thick yogurt. The homemade yogurt as well as here I added homemade ghee 
Also, I am going to add this homemade biryani masala. And mix it well. Until the raw smell of this shallots and green chilies. Here I am going to use 2 cups of zira samba rice. Instead of zira samba rice, you can use uh, basmati rice also. Also, here I did soak the rice. So, you can add for 1 cup of rice 2 cups of water. Suppose if you soak the rice for 20 minutes, you can reduce the water like uh, for 1 cup of rice, 1 and a half cup of water. Sort it. Now I am going to turn off the heat. I am going to transfer this mixture into the electric rice cooker. Here I transfer the onion and tomato mixture into this electric rice cooker. Now I am going to add rice. Here I added 2 cups. So I am going to add 4 cups of water. Mix it well. Here I am going to add the leftover mint leaves and the coriander leaves. And also check the salt at this point. If you want more salt, you can add it. I'm going to mix it again. I'm going to close this rice cooker. Also, I'm going to turn on and set as a white rice. Let's wait. In the meanwhile, we'll fry the egg. Here, I'm going to add just two teaspoon of oil. Here I am going to add turmeric powder before it gets hot then we will add the powder turmeric powder then garam masala also I am going to add chili powder the spice level is up to you if you are more hot you can add more chili powder and I am going to add a little bit garam masala also, I am going to add salt, just slightly mix it all together. Now, I am going to drop the boiled egg here, in the medium flame only, I am going to cook this. First of all, I am going to place all the eggs. When they get slightly brown, then we will turn this. Slightly brown, then we turn everything. Now I'm going to turn all the egg pieces. And then I'm once I turned everything, then I'll turn off the heat. Oops. Turn it. Here I split the egg instead of uh, this you can add it the whole also it's your wish and now I'm going to turn off the heat and leave it for just two minutes yep just leave it now I'm going to transfer all this fried egg into the bowl or tray whatever you have. Here 
the fried eggs are ready also our biryani also done now i'm going to open it once you open the biryani take the fork and release the sides release the steam you know so it will not cook further and the in between just place the color line like this now i am going to place all the boiled egg sorry the fried egg here Also, I am going to close this electric rice cooker for next 2 to 3 minutes without on the power. See, just leave it for 2 to 3 minutes, then it's ready to serve. Finally, our egg biryani is ready to serve now. You can serve this egg biryani with any kind of raita or any korma or chicken curry. But today, I am going to serve this egg biryani with this dry chicken curry. I will put the link in the description box about this uh, chicken curry recipe. Try this uh, egg biryani recipe and like this video and subscribe my channel. Send your valuable feedbacks. We will meet in next video. Thank you.